and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Vesperia. Last time we reached Capra Noor, uh, and ran into Flynn who helped us and tried to kill us and then, or tried to arrest us more specifically, and then Estelise conveniently showed up and then, uh, he stopped trying to, to hurt Yuri, so that worked out. All finished? And are we done whispering secrets? I've heard your story up until this point, Yuri. And also the reason for the bounty on your head. First off, I owe you my thanks for protecting her. Oh, I've been meaning to express my gratitude as well, Yuri. It's nothing. I was already out searching for that Blastia thief. And that's where we have a problem. Hmm? Regardless of the circumstances, the Imperial law cannot allow the obstruction of officers, jailbreaking, and trespassing. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I told him everything. Don't be sorry. I mean, I did all that stuff. Then I assume you are prepared to receive the punishment your actions deserve. Flynn! Do whatever you like, but just listen a minute, will you? So you can tell me how it was all done in order to get back the lower quarters Blastia Corps? That's what you wanted to say, right? Sir Flynn, I have news! What is Rita doing here? I heard you refused an Imperial request for assistance. Do you think it's alright for a mage employed by the Empire to simply abandon her obligations? Who's that? Got me. Huh, whatever. It's not like I care a whit about you either. I'll make the introductions. This is my second in command, Sodia. This is Witcher, a mage who offered his assistance to us at the laboratory in Ospio. This is my... You! Sir, it's the criminal from the Wanted poster! At ease, Sodia. He is a friend of mine. What? But sir, he's a wanted man! I've just heard his story. While he is guilty of minor crimes, the warrant for his arrest contains false accusations. Later, I will return him to the capital and explain the situation. And he will receive his due punishment. My... my mistake, sir. Witcher, let's have your report. So we're done here, right? I believe the ongoing rain and wind are being caused by a Blastia. The weather in this season is unpredictable, but this does not explain why it worsens whenever boats leave port. We also have testimony that something like a Blastia was carried into Magistrate Rago's residence. I've never heard anything about a Blastia that controlled the weather. Nothing like that has ever been excavated. Wait, the Aqua Blastia, the ruins, it couldn't be. So his lordship, the Magistrate, is using a Blastia to control the weather. It appears that way, though we can't yet say for certain. The harbor has been closed due to weather. Any ship that leaves is fired on for disobeying the ordinance. So much for crossing over to Torum. Those aren't the only rumors surrounding the Magistrate. He's released a monster known as Ribgaro into the wild and amuses himself by forcing those who can't pay their taxes to hunt it. He claims he'll pardon their taxes if they can manage to capture the beast. How cruel! That injured couple we met near the entrance must be two of his victims. And their child! What? What happened to their child? Forget about it. Well, it's been a hell of a day for us and we're tired. Let's just stay at this inn for the night. Also, we can't forget about a certain missing person. Missing person? So, I guess we just <laughs> stay at the end, which is redundant. Uh, that seems like what we have to do, though. Well, maybe not. Maybe we just have to leave. So what's the plan? I'm going to go see Magistrate Rag Rago. I totally forgot how they pronounced it already. <laughs> what? What can turn away at the gate if we try to go there? Even a noble woman like you would have no chance of getting in. 
Yeah, but with the harbor barricade, we can't cross over the Torm Harbor. That thief Dedeki, along with that one-eyed giant, are both on the other side of the water. Let's stop blabbering about it and just go, why don't we? If you won't listen to what we have to say, we can think of another plan. Alright, let's head to Radko's palace then. And Estelle has rejoined. The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Thank you for ruining my mood. Hey, feel free to get all sticky and gross. I won't stop you. Hmm. <laughs> well, someone's pragmatic. Um... Switch around the party a little bit more. Uh... We haven't really seen Carol much, so yeah, let's go with this. Or... Yeah, that's fine. That's good. I think the Magistrate's place was up here? And the guards are gone. No wait, there they are. Just, I thought they were over in this area right here, but they're actually down there. So, my bad. What do you want? I'd like to meet with Magistrate Rago if you'd be so kind. Yeah, you just met a mercenaries. I wonder what guild they're from. Guess that explains the thuggish look. Heh, <laughs> go home, scram, the Magistrate is a busy man. Surely not too busy to rough up people in this town? Hey, you better watch your mouth, punk. See, I told you he wouldn't see us. Let's get out of here before things get sticky. I have to agree with Captain Carroll on this one. But there must be some other way. Forget it, let's go. We'd best leave the frontal assault in the palace of the Imperial Knights. But isn't the fact that that's going so badly precisely what got Flynn in such a bad mood? <laughs> Maybe he'd see us if we came bearing gifts, so to speak? A gift? What do you mean? The right, the right Ripgaro. It's worth a fair amount of money, right? Come to think of it, that official mentioned the Ripgaro. He said that someone with his horn would never have to worry about taxes again. If we brought something that valuable, the Magistrate would at least grant us an audience. You propose to catch the Ripguro? This is our chance, it's raining after all. What does rain have to do with it? The Ripguro comes out of hiding when it's raining. Out of all the monsters I know, it's the only one that goes out in the rain. Capital observation, Captain Carroll. What else? What do you mean, what else? That's all there is to it. So where's the Ripguro now? Uh. Just as I thought. Well then, let's go talk to the people in the town and get their side of the story. Are you okay with this, Estelle? Yes, Yuri. If we're unlucky, this could put all of us on the wrong side of the law. The one who makes the laws of this town is his lordship, the Empire's magistrate. You'd be okay with defying him? I'm going with you. You okay with it then? Yes. Rita, you don't have any problems with it. I have to say, I'm incredibly interested in a blast yet I can control the weather. That's decided. So then, let's seek out the Ripgara first. No matter how you slice it, Flynn is Flynn. He's even more stubborn than before. <laughs> you think so too, Repeat? <laughs> well, at least he seemed to be doing alright. So, uh, where is it? I guess we have to go talk to everybody in town and figure out where it actually is. Because I have no clue. Somehow I'm thinking probably Emmett Hill. Uh, if I had to make a wild guess, but I have no clue. What? Ripgaro, you're looking for ways to get out of paying taxes too? I have no idea. That's your problem. Ripgaro horns are a vital source of kick. Uh, a really important me medicine. That's what the woman doctor in the glasses with the white wolf puppy was saying, anyway. Well, wow, that sounds like an interesting source of information. Oh, we've got rose. They like dark places. That's why they only come out on rainy days. Are you travelers? Watch out. The magistrates in the city are evil. Not only do they take taxes from the citizens, they also make travelers pay. Welcome, or, or so I'd like to be able to. S oh, same thing. Um, is that. Well, maybe we have to talk to people in the inn also. 
Also, just satisfying my own curiosity, can we go back in this room? If so, what's in here? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's nothing inside. Uh, fantastic. 500 gold, let's put it back. Um, well that's a shame. So... Uh, no one there. What did these two have to say? A golden night in the forest south of Nor Harbor. Please, that's just a rumor among the poor. I guess everyone likes talking about gold. Seems it doesn't matter how much money I have, no ships are leaving, and that's that. I made my peace with it. That experience is like this. Oh, so I have a feeling the light in the forest and to the south is probably important somehow. Wait, there's another entrance? Huh, okay, that is peculiar. Is that all the people we can talk to? To, hey, someone new. Ribgaros are monsters, aren't they? The mox, monster may have been pregnant. Recently, Ribgaros come out to breathe when it rains. What do you have to say? Oh, excuse me, young lady. Can you spare a minute or two? Huh? You mean me? Yes, yes, indeed. You think you might want to play a little stone-taking game with me? To make it interesting, I'll give you a nice present if you can beat me. What do you say? Huh, well, why not? But are you sure? I'm pretty good at that kind of game. Oh, excellent. I've been looking for an opponent to give me a challenge. They call me the master. I won't go down without a fight. Uh, do we really have time to be sitting around? Or s do we really have time to be sitting and playing games? Don't worry, I'll make short work of this geezer. Just wait and see. Oh, well then, shall we begin? Oh. <laughs> well... Uh, I think you're... <sighs> Uh, I'm, I'm trying to crunch numbers in my head. I think the odds are about the same. Uh, let me guess who loaded. <laughs> let me guess. Frankly, after all that big talk, I was expecting a more impressive showing. What? No, no, you've got it all wrong. I'm just feeling a little the weather is all. I don't have to pay for this, do I? I'm not- yeah, I'm not paying for this, so I might as well. Uh, gambler's fallacy. I'm just gonna go even until it works. <laughs> I am really starting to think this is rigged. What happened, genius mage? Shut up, you! All that anger isn't going to help you win. Uh, I have a feeling that this is gonna be a point where they're like, oh, it's totally rigged. Um... I'm gonna try one more even, and see what happens. Yeah, it's rigged. <laughs> it is definitely rigged. Statistical probability. I'm telling you, give up now, you're just going to keep losing. I can't stand it, I can't stand it, I can't stand it! Hmm, perhaps I was wrong about you. Um... Okay, again, satiating my curiosity. Um... If I do odd, is, he, is it going to be even? Oh, it's always odd, it looks like. <laughs> Either that, or I'm just really lucky. I don't know which it is. Well, that didn't go well. I'm telling you, give up- oh, okay. Hmm. I wonder if there's a pattern to it. I wonder if it's like odd, even... Hmm. Now I'm curious. I'm even more curious if it is like predetermined. Okay, so it is completely random. I'm just getting garbage luck apparently. Uh, I will look into this later. This is obviously going to be a time sink trying to figure out what that actually unlocks. Um, so yeah, we're just going to ignore that for now. By the way, I have terrible luck. You never could sit still, could you? Stop treating me like a little kid. Yuri, don't do anything reckless. I haven't done anything reckless since the day I was born. I'm just chasing after a Blastia thief. Yuri... You're the one who should ease up on trying to do the impossible, Flynn. Witcher, go and see if we can get the right to search Blastia Laboratories. <sighs> 
I thought leaving the capital would have changed him a little, but it seems like he's even more reckless than before. Flynn? Yuri's so single-minded when it comes to protecting others. He's willing to sacrifice himself to do it. I envy him for that. But I also worry that he'll take it too far. Come on, Estelle. Let's go. Yuri's gonna leave us behind. Right. We should be going now. Oh, by the way, Lady Estelle's. Yes? How... how is it, walking around outside, free? I can't say everything's been perfect, but... I realize that there are things I must do. And that makes me happy. It's been wonderful. Good. I'm glad to hear it. And... thus... we set out once more. Try to figure out where the heck we're actually going. I have no clue, actually, if I may be blunt. Uh, I'm guessing the thing about the forest in the south is a clue. Uh, cutscene? The rain's lighting up. But it's still so gloomy. Yeah, I can't see the sun at all. Whether it's raining or sunny doesn't much affect our adventure anyway. That's not true. Different monsters come out in different weather. There are monsters who can't stand water, and others that love it. Monsters have a large effect on what we do, don't you think? Carol, it's so nice to have a member of the Hunting Blades with us who knows about these things. Well, regardless, we're going to have to walk in the rain. Not necessarily, the weather might be different in the morning. Yeah, maybe so. Best cure for a gloomy day like this is sleeping in the way, nice and cozy. Tomorrow could be just as cloudy and dismal as today. When it rain in my parade... Rainy days aren't always so bad. They say all sorts of special things happen on rainy days that don't happen when it's sunny. Is that something else you read in your books? Is that true? That's what they say. Well, for now, we'll just have to get some sleep and wait for the sky to clear up. Tomorrow might be just as rainy as today. You know, you're pretty mean, you know that. But... Don't we have to be in, in the rain because of the monster? Hey, Rita, what did Flynn mean about search and seizure rights to Blastia Laboratories? Oh, that. Basically, if you're on an official Imperial Blastia investigation, you can go anywhere you want. Are you serious? Why bust our butts when the Knights can do that? I don't think they can. There are plenty of exceptions that can block their authority. That sounds like what I've come to expect from the Empire. What do you want to bet that that thing up there in the forest is the thing we're looking for? <laughs> I have no proof, just a wild guess, but I'm gonna go investigate that. Looks like there's a big monster over there and we're looking for a monster in the rain, so two and two together. I think it's a safe bet, actually. Not necessarily a right bet, but a safe bet. <laughs> uh, okay. I like how they warn you about things like that, at least. Good job with that heal, where no one was nearby. Okay, one more down, and I think there's only one left. Okay, t two more. And... Wow, this is actually a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. A lot more health, that is. I got a little worked up. Yeah, I'm not surprised that I did not uh, that I lost out on that because of taking that much damage to the entire party. Um, so heal everybody uh, like that. Yeah, that I'm just guessing that's what we're looking for. Because it's not like despawning or moving. This is Ribgaro. That was this easy. Tough. Do we even have a chance? Yeah, do we? <laughs> That's a good question. So let's even the odds a little bit. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> this seems to be working. Uh. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. So, I'm gonna just check, actually, because I have no clue how much that actually did, how much it has left. 
Wow, that actually took it out pretty fast. <laughs> um, 3,000, that's easy. We can deal with this. Uh, <laughs> this there we go. Yet. We got a long way to go. Did we get the horn? Come on, let's take it back with us. It's covered in scars and bruises. I feel kind of sorry for it. I reckon it's been attacked by desperate townspeople quite a few times. It's not that the people in town... Blah. It's not the people in town's fault. No, I understand. Yuri? The horn is what's so valuable, right? This will be enough to satisfy that money-grubbing magistrate. Wow, it's not likely to show pity to a monster. Oh, you guys are busy talking. The monster's getting up. What, what, why did it run away? It understood what we were thinking. The monster did? Seriously? Hey, we got the horn. Who cares either way? And with that, we have to return to the town, dodging all the monsters along the way. Except not Let's really. <laughs> That's a lot of bandits. Um, I'm actually a little bit surprised that that was so straightforward, to be honest. Uh, I guess the golden light was... I assume the golden light they were talking about might have been the horn reflecting light. That's just my guess. Anyway, um... Have I actually scanned these guys yet? I have. I feel like this is kind of a weird diversion. Kind of just like, oh, go fight the monster just in the middle of this big quest to get to Torum. But I guess it makes sense that, uh, some in some capacity. What is this? I don't think I've actually seen one of these yet. What is this thing? It's definitely unusual looking. Uh, floating Philo? Weak to fire, so destruction field. <laughs> Back to spamming destruction field. That seems to be how I've been having Yuri attack lately, just spamming destruction field, because we've been dealing with a lot of fire of weak element, uh, enemies, so. You know, like the gats, so I just had Yuri spam destruction field. Uh, I've actually discovered just now. That the backstep is actually a good way to line yourself up if you're not properly lined up with an enemy because you back away like completely uh, parallel to it. Which I guess on the subject of parallel, now would be a good time to mention that I do find it kind of fascinating how the Tails fighting game system actually works from the standpoint of uh, you basically... Uh, what am I trying to say? You, you basically have a, a 2D game and a 3D plane to some extent, and it's not something you really see every day. In fact, I guess now would be a good time to mention something. Uh, there's actually a fighting game called Tales of Versus. It was released on the PSP. Wait, you can't go out again after that girl went through the trouble of healing your wounds. Where are you off to with that dangerous weapon? That's no business of yours. I can't have you sticking your nose into my affairs just because you're curious. This is... Sorry for stealing your thunder back at the end. Maybe this will make it up to you. Thank you so much! Hold on, you're just giving it to them? It's a small price to pay if it saves a child's life. You were planning on doing this from the beginning, weren't you? Nope, just came to me. You do realize you just gave away our gift for the Magistrate, right? Now what will we do? No worries, we'll just find some other way to get into the Magistrate's place. Shall we see how Flynn's doing then? Yes, maybe he's even gone into Rakos' palace already and set things straight. Yeah, that sure would be nice. Let's go pay a visit to the inn. As I was saying, uh, there was a PSP Tales fighting game called Tales of Versus that had characters from, I think, most of the games up to this point. 
I know Vesperia, Symphonia, and Abyss. Not sure about Fantasia, Destiny, or Eternia. And I don't think they had any, anyone from Legend yet because everyone seems to try to act like that game doesn't exist. But in any case, um, one interesting thing about the game is there was actually, there was actually a cross-promotion where if you bought Tales of Verses for PSP, this was one of the, f of the few games to do this alongside Assassin's Creed Bloodlines, I want to say, and Assassin's Creed 2. But if you had this game, you could actually link the PSP, ver PSP game to the PS3 version of Vesperia and actually unlock several special things. You can unlock uh, costumes for Yuri, Estelle, and Flynn. Yuri gets a costume uh, resembling, I think, what's his name, Ash from Abyss? Uh, Estelle gets a costume for Tyr. And Flynn gets a costume for Luke, I think. Uh, I was just reading about this yesterday, so my memory is a little bit shaky on the details, but it's just kind of a little cool thing. Um, that you can unlock if you have both games, of course, the only problem is those games both only came out in Japan. The PS3 version of Asperia is Japan only, Namco said they had no intention to release it because they didn't want to try localizing a game at the same time as the release. Uh, was actually the statement released by one of the producers, or someone at Namco said that. Uh, and also, I think another person in Namco debunked the popular theory that Microsoft basically had an exclusivity deal that was still uh, present at that time, and thus it prevented the PS3 version from existing. This theory has largely been debunked, partly because, quite honestly, the game came out a while ago. And then the PSV version was like a couple years later, I think 2010 I want to say, compared to 2008. And even by now, you'd think the exclusivity deal would have expired. So yeah, I've heard things saying that that's probably not actually what's keeping it from being re-released. Um, Symphonia was released on GameCube and then ported to PS2. Uh, and it took a really freaking long time. To actually get the PS2 version in the form of Tales of Symphonia Chronicles for the PS3 and this version was also ported to Steam. It's missing some of the content from the GameCube version unfortunately but it adds some new features as well, new side quests. Uh, so a lot of people are still holding a hope that uh, Vesperia manages to come out in some form for current gen. I'm one of those people, even though I have this game. And there's a story behind how I actually have this game. I don't know if I actually went over that or not. I don't think I did. I guess I'll save that for next time, if we have any time left over at the end. But in any case, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Tales of Vesperia.